ServiceMate makes quotes easy, both for you to create and send, and for your clients to accept. You can generate quotes on the spot with the mobile app or on the desktop. Let's start in the dispatch board. To create a quote, double click to open the job, then click quotes and invoicing. Enter a description of the work being quoted. Next, add some items. By typing in the item field here, you can search your labour rates, items, materials and services. Or you can create new items on the spot. If needed, you can change the name or price of a saved item for the current job only. It won't affect the saved item anywhere else. If you want to edit an item's default details, go to Settings, then Materials and Services. You can also change the order of line items on your quote by dragging and dropping. When you're done, click Produce Quote. Whether or not your quote is itemised will depend on the quote template you're using. You can change your default quote and invoice templates by going to Settings, then Document Templates. Once you're happy with your quote, you can click to send it by text or email. A message template will load with your new quote attached as a PDF. You can change the message or add attachments from the job diary. When you're ready, click Send. You can then view the sent message in the job diary, and for email, it will even show if the client has opened it. To create and send quotes in the ServiceMate app, open the job card, tap Billing, and enter the work to be completed, along with your labour, material, or service items. Tap Quote. Once you've reviewed the quote and you're ready to send, text or email it to your client. Again, the standard template will apply and your PDF quote will be attached. Default quote messages include a unique link where your client can view and accept the quote online. Tap Send. Once you've issued a quote to a client, send the job to a queue for quotes pending acceptance, for follow-up later. You can send jobs to queues in the app via the job action bar and on the desktop. If the client tells you they accept your quote, update the job status to a work order, make a note in the job diary and schedule it to a staff member. If the client accepts your quote online, the job status will automatically update from a quote to a work order and the job will appear in the action required list. If the client doesn't accept your quote, update the job status to unsuccessful.